Hi, today we are going to study insertion and sort. So first we will see what is the technique insertion and sort followed by working with the help of an example. We will also study algorithm and its analysis. So let us see what is insertion and sort. In an insertion and sort, it complete list is treated in two parts. One part of the list is sorted list and another part of the list is unsorted list. Here, left part of an array is called as sorted and right part of a list is called as unsorted. Take an element from unsorted list and try to insert in its correct place of sorted list so that your sorted list will get expanded by one element and unsorted list will be reduced by one element and we keep on repeating this process for n minus 1 elements so all n minus 1 elements will get sorted and the last element will get sorted by itself let us see working or we would say logic of an insertion sort Consider this is the current scenario of an insertion sort. This is not the very first look of algorithm. It is taken from somewhere middle of it. Where highlighted elements 30 and 50 are sorted. Whereas 40, 20 and 10. The right half of an array of 3 elements are unsorted. We have to pick up the first unsorted element that is 40 and try to insert this 40 between list of 30 and 50 in its correct location. So let us see how we do that. We initialized i as very first unsorted element. So i is actually pointing to a location where unsorted very first element resides. And we will copy that unsorted element into temp location. Now, after copying this, we will initialize j index as j minus 1 index. So, here if i is at location number 2, j index will be at location number 1. And j plus 1 will also be at location number 2. Now, what we have to compare? We have to compare element at j with element at temp. If element at j is greater than temp element, then we copy jth element at j plus 1th location. In our case, jth element is 50. Is it greater than temp element 40? Condition is true. So we will copy 50 element at j plus 1th location. 50 is overriding number 40. After this, j is decremented. So previously j was at index 1, now j is decremented which is at index number 0. So j plus 1 will be an index number 1. Again we have to compare element at j with element at temp. Is element at j greater than temp element? 30 greater than 40? In this case condition is false. If condition is false, what we will do? We will copy temp element at j plus 1th location. So temp element is 40 and j plus 1th location is index number 1. So we will copy 40 to index number 1. After this particular step, now you can see 30, 40 and 50 is sorted. So initially sorted list was only comprising of two elements. Now it is comprising of three elements. So sorted list will get expanded by one element after each pass. And unsorted list will get reduced by one element at the end of each pass. Similarly 20 will get sorted. So let us take insertion sort example quickly. We initially assume 50 is already sorted and 30 is the next element which we need to insert into a sorted list element. So we will initialize i at index which is pointing to element 30. j is initialized as i minus 1th index and temp is storing element at i which is, is equal to 30. 
Now here we will compare element at J with element at temp. Is Jth element greater than temp element? If yes, copy Jth element at J plus 1th location. So 50 will be copied into J plus 1th location. After this particular step, J will get decremented. But if we decrement J, it will point to a negative index, which is not a valid index. So a, while J is greater than 0, unless and until J is not a negative index, we have to compare J element with temp. But as soon as J will reach to a negative index, we simply copy temp element at J plus 1th location. So temp is 30, will get copied at J plus 1th location. So 30 is copied at J plus 1th location. So here we are now having two elements which are now sorted. Again, I will be incremented. That's why I initialization is replaced by for loop. So for i is equal to 1, 2 and minus 1. That means for the last element up to. J will be initialized as J will be initialized as I minus 1th location and temp will store element at I. So temp is storing element number 40. J is greater than 0 in this case. Yes. So J element will be compared with temp element. Is 50 greater than 40? If condition is true, then copy J element at J plus 1th element. So 50 will be copied at J plus 1th location. After this step, J will be decremented by 1. Now J is pointing to an element 30. And we have to compare Jth element with temp element. So 30 is greater than 40. Is condition true? No, 30 is not greater than 40. Condition is false. So we are not going to change our J element. In this case, condition of while loop, J is greater than 0. Yes, J is at 0. But condition of comparison of J element and temp is not true. So we will simply copy temp element at J plus 1 location. So 40 is pasted or copied at J plus 1 location. Now, at this particular moment, we are now having three elements which are sorted. I will be incremented, now pointing to index number 3. So, temp element at this location will be first copied inside temp. J is initialized as I minus 1. Element at J is compared with element at temp. If it is 50 greater than 20, yes, copy J element at J plus 1th location. So 50 will be copied at J plus 1th location only if condition is true and decrement J by that time. If J is decremented, yes. 40 is it greater than 20? If condition is true, copy 40 to J plus 1th location. It is copied again decrement J. J will be decremented. So element at J is 30. Is it greater than temp element 20? Again condition is true. Copy 30 to J plus 1 the location. So it will be get copied. Again J will get decremented. J is decremented. Now J is pointing to negative index. That means my J is now not greater than or is equal to 0. At this particular moment we have to stop tracing J. Simply copy or execute last statement that is copy temp element at j plus 1 location. So temp element 20 will copy to j plus 1 location that means 20 will be stored at index number 0. So at this particular moment we are now having 4 elements that are sorted. Let us work for last element also that is consider 10. It will be copied inside temp. J is initialized as I minus 1 and compare Jth element with temp element. Is 50 greater than temp? Yes, copy 50 to J plus 1th location. So 50 will be copied only if condition is true and decrement J by that time. Again, is 40 greater than 10? Yes, copy 40 at J plus 1th location. If condition is true, decrement J by 1. 
30 is compared now with 10. Is 30 greater than 10? Yes, then copy it to J plus 1th location and decrement J. Is 20 greater than 10? Again condition is true and copy 20 at index number J plus 1 and decrement J. Now J is pointing to negative index. At this particular moment, we have to stop our while loop and we will reach to the last step that is 10 is stored at J plus 1. That means 10 will be stored at index number 0. Now at this moment, we have now all 5 elements which are sorted. So this is how insertion sort will work. From index 1 to n minus 1th element, that means the last element, a every time initialize stem as a of i, element at i. Then j will be initialized as i minus 1. Unless and until j index is greater than or is equal to 0 and meanwhile element at j is greater than temp element, we have to copy j plus j the element at j plus 1 location and decrement j by 1. After the end of this while loop, we will simply copy temp element at j plus 1 location. Because if j has gone one step lesser than 0, that means minus 1, j plus 1 will always be 0 or something larger element. So this is how insertion sort will work. Let us see complexity of insertion sort by performing an analysis. In search and sort, we will first take input size which is, is equal to n which is nothing but number of elements in a list. Now in search and sort, we will perform different steps in case when element is already sorted or element is not sorted. So best case of in search and sort is the case where element or input list is already sorted. How it will perform? Have a look at this. The inner while loop which compares element at j is greater than 10. This condition will be false if array element is already sorted. So while loop is never going to make this condition true. So inner loop is going to get skipped every time of i. So loop will only execute only one that is for loop only. No while loop will get executed because for the very first time if this condition is false. It will not go inside while loop and won't check that condition again. That's why the complexity of insertion sort is in best case when elements are already sorted is big O of n or big theta of n. Now let us talk about worst case. Worst case of insertion sort is when when your Element list is reversely sorted. That means if they are sorted in a descending order. Or if you are going to sort in descending order, it is already in ascending order. So in that case, this condition will get true each and every time. And every element will get swapped or it will be placed at the starting location of an array. And this will happen for each and every time. So I must say this while loop will every time execute the maximum possible number of times if it is possible. So for each loop while will be executed maximum number of times. That's why we say complexity of insertion sort is big O of n square or theta of n square when array elements are reversely sorted. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.